Okay, so in this video, we are going to look at exploration of the data set. So exploration is much needed uh, so as to identify key issues in our data set, what our data set actually looks like. So I'm taking the adult data set from here. Uh, this is a UCI machine learning repository. So you can take the data set according to your requirements. You have, you know, multivariate, univariate kind of um, uh, data here. Um, depending on your requirement, you can choose the data. I'll just share a link to this repository here under the description. Uh, so let's begin uh, importing our data set. So I have imported the data set. And now let's look at how our data set actually looks like. So, so we can see some kind of numerical and categorical type of columns here. Um, so it's basically about the um, individual having work class, education, marital status, in which country that person resides, number of hours that a uh, person has worked. Um, so initially it seems that we don't have any kind of missing data. Maybe, maybe let's try to find some other data gaps through the functions or methods available uh, at our disposal. So Okay, let's try to explore what's there in our data set. So we can use adult data set dot shape. So it's basically gives you the number of rows and the columns. So you have 32,561 rows and eight columns here. Uh, let's see what uh, other methods we can use. So initially we can have a look at the info method. It tells you about the columns, not null values that those columns have and the data type. So here we can see the we have all the eight columns starting from zero to till seven, age, work class, education, and so on. We have non null count as well. So it seems that we don't have any missing uh, values in all the columns and we have data type of integer and the object type. So now let's try to um, further explore our data set. Uh, let's try to explore what's there in our numerical kind of uh, columns. So let's see dot describe. So dot describe methods basically tells you about the summary statistics of the numerical columns. We have count, mean, uh, standard deviation, minimum, 25% of the data, 50%, and how what are the values? So we have age and hours per week are numerical columns. As you can see, just for an instance, uh, the maximum age is 90, um, the mean is 38.5, and for the hours per week, we have all the respective values corresponding to um, that. Further moving on. So we can make use of the columns attribute to get all the column names which we have in our data set. Similarly, we can use the dot values attribute to get all the values uh, which we have in our data frame. So it kind of gives you a list of values for each row. We can use the dot index attribute as well so that we can list on the indexes that we have. Uh, if we execute the statement here, it gives the start as zero and the stop as the last number of the row. So we have 32,561 uh, rows starting from zero and the step size is of one here.